It's time for another project on the Okanagan Valley Railway. Join me as I work on improvements, new scenery, etc. Hopefully, you will learn something and I will not injure myself. Today's project is how I built Sylvan scale model short barrel ore cars, both one in CN and one in Ontario Northlander O1R. Now, I have to admit, this really wasn't a project for the Okanagan Valley Railway, however, I built it. And I still have the Okanagan Valley Railway, but this is for my future railway, which will be the Ontario Northland Railway. So let's get started. Since I'm modeling the mid 70s Ontario Northland Railway, they had two very active ore mines in Northern Ontario. One at was Sherman Mine near Tomogamy, one was Adams Mine. I will be modeling the Sherman Mine. Now, having said that, when I first started wanting to do this, the only cars available were the Sylvan scale models, which are resin kits, and yes, there's a lot of work to build them. Now you can buy the Rapido ones, which are ready to run, but are quite a bit more expensive, so really the choice is yours. However, I would suggest that you try at least one of these, just for the experience of putting something together yourself. It is a big job, no doubt about it. I did two of them. I don't know if I'd want to do an entire ore train of them all, but it was a great experience. I enjoyed doing it. Now, the first thing that I would recommend you do is once you've opened up the box, is very carefully read the instructions. So there's a lot of work to be done here, and resin kits can be tricky. So the first thing it says, and I've circled here in the picture, is you need to use some sort of a cleaner to clean off all the... The, I guess the glue and whatever that comes with the molding in that so that the paint and glue will adhere as you're building the model. They have their own brand called Resin Prep, which is the one I used. Here's a picture of it here. Or you can use Diasol. The next step that I would recommend is take out the instruction and look at the blow up diagram, which shows all the different parts. Now, at the same time, take out the actual parts and make sure that you can identify and match them up with that and read through the instructions carefully before you do any assembly because I had a heck of a time sometimes I'd look at the picture of the actual car and to match up some of the parts in that. So just a word of caution there. And just a quick mention, uh, Sylvan does include pictures of the car in, in the with the kit. So that is handy for sure. Now I do apologize for this picture. It is a bit blurry, but here's a sample of some of the parts. And I do have flashing around them. So take a sharp X-Acto knife and very carefully cut the flash knife. I say very carefully because these parts are a bit brittle and you don't want to break them. You will also want to sand in certain places to smooth them out, the parts and that, and make sure they have a nice fit before you glue them. And the glue you use, be a super glue or a CA glue as they call it, and be very careful when you hand land, obviously. Uh, you want to use uh, just enough. You don't want to get messy with it. Uh, maybe you have a nice pair of tweezers or something, too, with some of the smaller parts. I do apologize, as I didn't take more pictures as I was putting the kits together. And that probably would have been handy for this video. However, follow the instructions very carefully, and move really slow, and like I said, look at the pictures, and go step by step, and you'll be okay. Here's a picture of the Ontario Northland car assembled. Uh, a couple of things. One is that the couplers and the trucks are not included, so you have to buy your own. And then on top of that, the little wheels at the top, which are used to open the hatches, you may notice, or you rivet counters out there, or fans of the ore train, the pull is kind of short. And on the CN car, I got that right, and it is a more proper length. The next step is to paint your cars. So for the O&R car, as it says on the instructions, they recommend using a forest green paint. You can also get an O&R green somewhere, I'm sure, but... I use a forest screen. I use a, a spray can. I believe it was Krylon, but I'm not sure. And it came out really nice. And for the CN, they recommend mineral brown. However, I went with an actual CN red, as they call it, which is really a brown. I don't know why I call it CN red, made by George's Trains, as seen in this picture. And it came out nice as well. Here's the pictures again that I showed at the beginning of the video of the two cars. First, the CN1 in the CN red, which you can see it came out quite nice. And then secondly is the Ontario Northland car in the green that I used. And once again, it came out looking really good as well. The one thing you might notice on the on our car, it does, you know it's not your eyes. It is on a bit of an angle. So I had a little bit of trouble when I put that one together. However, it still came out pretty good. Both of them run really well. As a matter of fact, I'll leave a link to 
in this video with regards to a video I did of my O&R train moving around the Okanagan Valley Railway made quite some time ago. So I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy the project if you decide to take it on. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and wish to see more content on model trains and real trains, please subscribe to my channel.